speaking of dividends, the fiscal cliff turning into a dividend boom. Nearly 90 major companies, there are more that are smaller, are now offering special dividend payouts ahead of the cliff. So we are running a special dividend playbook just for you on this Friday. What names are the touchdown trades? Which names are more like the Kansas City Chiefs? Let us bring in Tommy Belasis. He is CEO of John Thomas Financial. Keith McCullough may be joining us, may not. I understand there's some technical issues. Got Herb Greenberg is here. I just understand Keith can't join us technically. So, Tommy, it's all you and Herb. What names do you like that are worth buying because of the special dividend? I mean, you got six times as many companies issuing these special dividends versus last year. I think two great companies. You have Costco and Wynn. They're great growth stories. They have uh, great trends. I think Iron Mountain is something that you should avoid. But I would stick with those two plays here in this condition of the market. But, you know, Tommy, uh, Costco raising debt to do this special dividend. At what point does that concern you? You know what? I think it's more longer term than it is now. I mean, a lot of these companies know what's in front of them. I mean, you got the effective Bush tax cuts coming to an end this year. You got rates that at the top rate going to go up to about 44 percent, including Obamacare. So I think these two companies are going to offer great opportunities at these levels with their valuations to investors in the marketplace. You know, I think what's very interesting. You know, Keith isn't with us, but one thing I know he wanted to talk about was why he wasn't going to recommend buying guests, even though they have a special dividend. And that's a very interesting situation where a company's fundamentals may not be up to snuff so when does the special dividend get in the way or fool people into buying something they ought not be buying you know I'll, I'll tell you one thing I think over the next six to twelve months I think investors are not going to be so keen to get involved in companies that have these dividends because they know what they're going to get taxed on so you're going to be you're going to see a rotation go into muni bonds so I think in the short term it's going to be a benefit to investors to have these companies but over the longer term they're going to have to rethink in terms of the companies that are issuing these special dividends Tommy Belice is John Thomas financial sir thank you have a good weekend appreciate